Kelsey Thomas has the new details. Well, Marie, that is what police are telling us tonight, and it's what happened outside of the school before the school bell rang on Tuesday that has her in trouble with the law. Police say that she was driving under the influence of a narcotic called tramadol. It was supposed to be April Shepard's first day back at school after spring break, but the fourth grade teacher never made it inside her classroom at Williams Elementary. Instead, she was outside in handcuffs, taken into custody after police say she hit two parked cars outside the school. Parents were stunned by her arrest. I have no words for it, you know, really, because uh I mean, you, you're working with kids, you know, that's not the example you want to give them. It's scary because my kids go to that school, you know, my little brother goes there and it's just like, you know, yeah, and we never had anything like that happen. What happened Tuesday is spelled out in this arrest report. Police say Shepard wasn't drunk, but was uncoordinated, droopy and had red eyes. Officers say she almost fell while getting out of her car. She had to be held up by two parents. Then she took three tests for impaired driving. Police say she failed all three. Shepard told officers she takes tramadol to treat pain, a narcotic prescribed by a doctor. CCSD police captain Ken Young explains what happened next. At the conclusion of the investigation, 47-year-old April Shepard was taken into custody for DUI. During a drug test at the jail, police say Shepard admitted to taking a tramadol pill the night before, but wasn't sure if she took one that morning. And Shepard bailed out of jail, but she is expected to go before a judge next month. Reporting live this afternoon in North Las Vegas, outside Williams Elementary School, Kelsey Thomas, News 3.